What's up, you guys? I just wanted to make a quick YouTube video on kind of like achievement guides. I think I'm going to start doing that a little bit more, and this is going to be a free format video. I just more or less want to go over like kind of like the starting points of achievements because they can be a little bit overbearing at the very beginning, mostly if you're like a new player. And I have a feeling that, you know, we're going to get a lot of new Wrath babies, like Wrath classic babies, just because before we had Wrath babies and I assume that we're going to get inevitably the same thing over again. So anybody who's new, this is kind of like a guide for you of like where you want to start at least, mostly if like achievements are like kind of your main goal or like something that you're working out on the side. There's a ton of achievements. Like we can go all the way up into like 1,058. And so like that's a lot. And there's a lot of things to do. And like, if you want to get like a good start to kind of like bring up that dopamine rush and everything like that, like this is kind of the guide for it. And like the first place I'm like going to go into is like just doing like exploration. Like we don't have Northrend right now because this video has been taken in pre-patch. And like if you're looking for something to do in pre-patch while the zombie evasion's going <laughs> and there's not really anything you can do like inside the cities, this is like a pretty good start for it. Like, Outlands and all of these, like, just off the bat right here is, like, 585 achievement points. Just by doing Outlands, Eastern Kingdoms, and Kalimdor. And it's relatively easy. You can crack it out in a few hours, like, honestly. It's easier in Kata, but we don't know if we're getting Kata. So you can't really hope on that and having flying in, like, the old worlds and everything. Or, I guess, the new old worlds. So... It's a little bit of a grind, so like I would recommend putting on Netflix on second monitor if you have one. And I guess like the second place that you want to go into is like not necessarily like quests. Because you're not gonna get any from like individuals. I would do like if you're new and you're leveling, do all the dungeons. Do every single dungeon. Do do all the dungeons in your bracket and just crack them out. You can come back, mostly at level 80, and it's it's a lot easier to do. But in total for like, I don't have everything done right now, but I've counted everything up. And like Outlands Dungeon Master, Classic Dungeon Master, and Unl Outlands Dungeon Hero is going to allot you like 550. So we're already up into like 1135 for achievements. And most of the other achievements like through general and everything like that are honestly going to just be like given naturally. Like you're going to get 70, 80 from doing all your levels, like, you're doing bank slots once you acquire, like, gold acquiring, mounts, the tebards, like, you might have to go a little bit out of your way for leading the cavalry and stuff like that, but I might just do um, a later video on that. We can do, like, other things like well-read, but that also is a quite a daunting one. I will be making another video on all the locations for that, but, like, a hot, another big recommendation for like just something easy to get out of the way is like every vendor you go to, just buy all the food. If you have the gold, buy all the food, all the drinks. Just take one bite, take one sip of everything that you come across. If you have a better memory than me, like you can note down everything, but it's relatively cheap. And then over your time of like getting up to 70, you should get like your drinks and uh, sample 50 different kinds of foods. And once we get north and then it'll open up for way, way more achievements. But looking around, like, mainly the max cap you can get around is about 3,000, just because we're locked behind things. But other than that, and, like, reputations, and even that is kind of just a slow drog, like, over time of just playing the game and everything like that. Like, I have three years on this character, and so, like, this is just built up over time. But, like, honestly, exploration and dungeons are probably the first place that you want to start off if you want to start doing like achievement hunting and you just want to start like a good foundational base around you and everything like that but that's kind of i just want to make a short video i just wanted to kind of get my two cents out there and everything and i hope this was helpful for some people that might be just looking or getting into wrath and i hope everybody's enjoying the pre-patch and uh thanks for watching peace